Hi there, everybody. Our warm-up to address this strength workout, we're going overhead with our shoulders, we're going into a deep squat, we're going to be hopping a little bit, we're using our core, so we're going to make sure we hit all four points, okay? First thing we'll start out with is a little 90-90 action hangout here. Lay out one side, somewhere between 30 seconds to a minute on each leg. You guys know how tight you are, so the longer um, you're in here, the more flexible your hips are going to be, okay? After doing equal, like I said, somewhere between 30 seconds and a minute on each side, give us 10 90-90 rotation each direction, okay? After you have finished that, we'll go sideways into our open book. Give me 10 open books on each side, thinking uh, shoulder, elbow, and hand to the floor. Follow your hand with your eyes as you go, okay? After you've completed that, you know the drill. We're into our intro. Give me somewhere between five and 10 reps here. This is one of those movements that the timer used to save you on. Not when you're home working out at your own pace. Five minimum, 10 maximum, okay? After that, split it out, go elbow down with a rock back. Also 10 on each side. Again, timer's not saving you on that one today. You gotta do five and 10 each side, that way you actually get warm. From there, we'll sit in our low squat position, okay? We can either go 10 to 15 rocks out of that squat, or 10 raises, okay, each arm. If you're just chilling, hang out here, somewhere between 30 seconds and that minute, okay? From there, you guys are doing a lot of squats. Let's work out 20 all the way down to two. So I would like to see some tempo squat work to help loosen that up. So give me five seconds on the way down, a five second hold, and then five seconds on the way up. Do that for five times, it should be good, okay? We'll address that shoulder going overhead. Take your band, don't have a band. Take a broomstick, don't have a broomstick. Clean your house, okay? 10 circles, 10 palms down, pull apart, 10 palms up, pull apart, okay? Do some calisthenics, get your body temperature up after that, and then crank out that workout. Cool. All right, guys, so you have four movements in today's workout. You have your shoulder to overhead movement, you have your squat movement, you have your burpee, and then you have your core work, okay? So I have with me a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a med ball, a band, and a plate. Those are the things you might have at home. And I'm gonna show you how to use each implement with each movement, that way everybody finds their sweet spot. So our shoulder to overhead, okay? So if you have just one dumbbell, you're going single arm, okay? Like on the round of 20, that's 20 on one side, 20 on the other. If your dumbbell is too heavy for that, hold it in the middle, okay? You give me 20 presses that way. If you have a kettlebell, you can go single arm shoulder to overhead, or you can also go, okay, both hands on the bell overhead. You're gonna go plate, hold it at your chest, reach overhead, make sure you're finishing with your elbows, by your ears, okay? Med ball, same deal, chest, elbow to ear, and then last, okay, we're going with that band. Step on that band so your feet are wider than your shoulders. That way you don't deglove the skin on your arms. And then press that band overhead, okay? If you have something that's kind of hard, um, start cheating and use your legs. This is a volume workout, so that's gonna help you incrementally, okay? Um, squats, goblet position. So whichever implement you're holding, okay? Keep it at your chest, down and up. If you feel like your dumbbell, you prefer to hold it on your shoulder, split the reps in half. So on the round of 20, you're gonna do 10 squats with a dumbbell on one shoulder, and then 10 squats with a dumbbell at your other shoulder, okay? Burpee regressions. Um, what I'll recommend is either just go hand to floor and stand, or grab one of your implements, bring it to your chest, okay? And then bring it to your floor. So you're gonna go from shoulder to overhead, and then either burpee or take something from the ground to your shoulder, okay? And that core work, um, hollow, in and out. We're locked in, legs are straight. Bring it all the way in, all the way out. If you need a regression here, okay? Get the knees sideways, drop them at that right angle. And if you need further regression, go one leg at a time. And that will be your easiest version of the movement right there. The goal of this workout is to get through it as fast as possible, okay? When we have high rep, 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, okay? Push the intensity, limit the rest. You're gonna get a huge pump out of this. Nice little calorie burn out of it as well. Um, and you should feel upper, lower, all that good stuff, okay? One last little um, 
option if that overhead is going to piss off your shoulders it's going to take your band and crank out some pull aparts for me instead of the overhead press that are still training those shoulders okay get after it for us today